What you guys got another video here for you beware the fake antivirus reviews you find online do not trust these reviews this is why you should not trust online reviews when you're searching for a particular product no matter what it is in this case we're talking about antivirus programs and you can search the internet if you put in there the best antivirus program or is windows defender any good or anything like that you'll see sites just like this one in short these particular types of sites are just geared to make you buy a particular antivirus program you can see they've got a list of antiviruses here and they go through and give you some information now some of this information is pretty good and accurate but really at the end of the day all it's geared for is affiliate marketing special links to mcafee norton Avira and other types of ones like Total AV, which we talked about the other day, Bitdefender, you name it, they will all be listed here. And these are affiliate links. These sites are geared for making money. And when you get on the site, you will suddenly see something popping up like this with a time limited deal. And it's a bit of a snake oil salesman tactic. And you can see here, when you get on the site, you're going to start seeing this sort of get Norton 360 Deluxe for $24.99. It's an affiliate link and basically the site will make that person a load of money. And these sites are all over the internet. Here's another one right here, Cyber News. You can go for it here, Microsoft Defender uh, Review. And of course, they're going to be trying to promote another antivirus. In this case, it's Total AV. A lot of these companies are promoting this sort of stuff. And a lot of these companies are trying to get you to buy their product. So you'll see some stats down here, some links to AV comparisons and things like that. And lo and behold, up comes a, a pop up with enhance your online security minus 84% limited deal and a little countdown timer there. And you can then purchase it. And this sort of approach is quite aggressive and you can be searching for certain terms on the Internet. And again, no matter what you're searching for, these sites will always come up. They will come up in in the search rankings like Windows Defender News, anything like that, you'll see them ranked very highly. And this is because they're adverts. They are paying to be up on the top of the search ranks. They're paying quite a bit of money to be ranked very high for certain uh, terms and certain search words. And they're paying AdWords to get up there. And it's worth it for them because they get people clicking on them and then people will read these reviews and start thinking that this is a legitimate uh, antivirus and it's the best out there on the market let's just do best free antivirus and lo and behold there's a bunch of ads right at the very top same sort of uh, deal really you click on these and these will take you to similar sites with affiliated links which makes them a load of money now they make a small amount of money through you clicking on the link and lo and behold there it is total AV again uh, number one and again this is what it's going to tell you of course, they're trying to sell you Total AV. I guarantee you Total AV will pop up here as soon as you start reading through all of this blurb on here. And lo and behold, there it is. Total AV pops up. So you get the idea of how these particular things work. And what these companies do is they will buy a load of URLs or domain names with certain names of them, like Antivirus Software Guide. And they know it's going to rank pretty high because it's got antivirus in the actual URL and they will literally buy bunches of these and create simple websites like these clone them and then just upload them and eventually they start gaining traffic this one is being potentially blocked by my antivirus software but this one's called trustedantiviruscompare.com and again they're going to be pushing one of these particular antiviruses probably total av and there it is right there so they're pushing total av and I could tell you right now, Total AV is not the uh, best antivirus out there on the market, and yet it's number one in their ranking. So you have to ask how they got it to number one in the first place. It's probably because Total AV is probably paying them uh, to be number one up there, and they will then get promoted and pushed. It could be that Total AV owns this website and they're promoting it that way. And there's another one right here, Cyber News. Try Total AV for free and you'll get seven days and then they want that payment of 100 odd pounds at the end of the year. And this is how they get you uh, pulled in. Now, people stumble on these websites because they're looking for the best antivirus, the best free antivirus, the best protection 
uh, for Windows 10 or Windows 11, the best uh, antivirus software for 2023, all these sort of things. And you can see here the best really free antivirus software. And they've got a title like that. And up comes probably Total AV. And uh, up the top here, you'll see there's a bunch of listings here for Bitdefender and loads of other ones on there as well. And what they'll do is they'll get you to read that article. You'll start believing what you see. And of course, this is what's happening. It's a constant battle. And there's tons and tons of these sites out there that are promoting this sort of stuff, which are deemed trustworthy sites with trustworthy reviews. And yet at the end of the day, it's all affiliate marketing. And all they're doing is promoting a certain type of software to make money on it because these are affiliate links. And you can see here the best antivirus software of 2023. And up comes this one right here. Again, Total AV is up the top. Now, of course, Total AV is not the best uh, antivirus software. We already know that. But again, they're giving it a ranking of 9.8. And then again, you can see here a load of information here. Up comes, uh, you know, Total AV again. And this is what they're trying to do is trick you into believing that this is the best software for you and your computer and you buy it. And once you buy it at a low price, maybe they will offer you it for, say, £1.50 a month. And you'll think that's not too bad for being the best antivirus software on the market. And guess what? You end up forgetting to read their terms of service, which has an auto renew policy. And it comes in at a whopping 100 odd pounds every year. And this is how you're going to get stung. So, you know, you can see here, there's a ton of them here that all promote this. These sites are just knocked up very quickly and they use a lot of keywords inside the script here, the text, to try and get uh, some visibility on, uh, you know, Google rankings. They'll also pay for AdWords on here to promote the site up to the top. And genuine sites that are trying to promote their software will just get gazumped by these particular uh, sites and articles online. And there's so many big sites doing this nowadays that it just really becomes difficult to get ranked for certain terms on uh, Google. Here's another one here, top 10 best antiviruses. And again, it's a common term that people are going to use. And, uh, you know, people look for this sort of stuff. And when they're looking for this particular type of uh, search rank, they will find these sites here and they click on them and then they read through here and they'll go, oh, it must be genuine because it's ranked number one. Norton's even doing it here. You can see Norton unlock a discount and you can see a bunch of other stuff here uh, on here. Another load of links here. It's the same when you go to Amazon and you're looking to buy a product and you're looking at the reviews. And most of them reviews have been manipulated by free samples that have been sent out. And they've also got paid reviews. And this is what happens. Five star review. And you end up getting it in your house and it ends up to be in a pile of rubbish. And you have to send it back or you can't be bothered to send it back. And that's how it works. Same thing goes for Trustpilot. How can you trust Trustpilot when Trustpilot is being manipulated by people and it's been you know, other companies are going to other companies' websites and giving them bad reviews just to mark them down. And this is what happens. You end up, you can't trust any of it. So here we have one here, privacy savvy, same sort of thing, top three, top five, top 10, uh, same sort of stuff, article here, all very much the same as what you've seen before. And they'll promote a particular type of antivirus software and they will get affiliate links for these. And you'll see a lot of that stuff happening on YouTube as well. I've even seen some YouTube channels use the word the best for virtually every product they have. Or they'll frighten to give a bad review or they never give a bad review. And the reason why is because they're fearful of losing a contact which gives them free samples. And they won't say a bad thing about it. When really you should be honest and you should never be swayed by receiving free items, if the item is bad, you should say it's bad because you're promoting or influencing other people to buy that product. And it's the same when you do software reviews or anything like that. You are promoting that software. Now, whether the review you're doing is paid or free, your opinion should be your own. No one should be uh, viewing that video before it's released and no one should be telling you what to say. 
Of course, you've got to disclose that it is a paid review. Now, I'm pretty sure that it's happened to all of us at some point, but I needed a microphone when I was working in an hotel for a couple of weeks. So I bought an AKG one after looking at a lot of YouTube videos and everyone was saying it's the new USB microphone king. So I go and buy it and it sounded absolutely shocking. And a lot of people complained on my YouTube videos saying the audio was really bad. So I sent it back. But after watching a lot of YouTube videos, I come to the conclusion that they were all fake and they were all manipulating the audio in post-production to make it sound better. And remember, as an influencer, you're influencing people to buy that product. And that is why the company have sent you that product in the first place, because they want to use your audience to try and gain sales for that product. So it's important that you tell the truth. Now, sites like these are pretty much uh, all over the internet, as I've said, and this is just for antivirus software, but it could be used for any type of review that you'll see out there. Take everything with a pinch of salt and make sure that you know what you're doing because these types of dump sites here that are just trying to get other sites ranked very highly by using domain names with the word antivirus in them, this is what people do. And they're very sneaky and uh, you can end up falling foul for this sort of stuff. So be very, very careful. Now, who owns these particular type of sites? Now, some of them do actually disclose who owns the site itself. And if you go to this particular website, you can see up the very top here, it will tell you. It will tell you who owns the site. And if you click on it, it says owner right up here. Click on that and it will tell you who owns this site. And it's owned by Cape Technologies. And Cape Technologies owns quite a lot of companies, especially VPNs. It owns ExpressVPN, GhostVPN. Zenmate, private internet access, and a bunch of other stuff too. So when they're writing reviews on VPN, the actual owner of them VPNs is writing them articles. So and they've got affiliate links in there, and they've got these sites all over the internet. So bear that in mind uh, before you start rushing out and buying something on the strength of what you're reading. And up the top, they tell you about the reviews guidelines and affiliate commissions and other things like that. Now some of their reviews are done by experts, according to some of these sites. So maybe the information they are giving is pretty genuine on there, but who's up the very top is debatable in my opinion. And if you look up the very top, it says best antivirus, best password managers, and best VPNs. They do articles on these. These are all affiliate links on here as well. And it's basically affiliate marketing site. And you can go on YouTube and you'll get the same sort of thing happening on there. You'll get videos going the, the best vacuum cleaners or the top 10, uh, you know, routers and things like that. And basically they're just full of affiliate links down in below. And they're just using the stock videos, what they get from the manufacturer's websites. And of course they're not testing any of it. They've not gone and bought any of those products. They're just basically using that video footage and then putting affiliate links down below. And this can be said for any type of review. And just so you know, before I end the video, when I review something, if it's unpaid, I will review it and I'll test it as best I can. All my opinions are my own. No one is reviewing that video before it's released. And I do my best to do a full review. I don't just get it out the box. I actually thoroughly test it and then I will give you my opinion. As you can see by some of my reviews, they're pretty in depth and I will go to the ends of the earth to try and give you my honest opinion on that actual product. So let me just quickly answer a lot of people's questions that I see in the comments sometimes when I do a product review, if it's a paid review, I will tell you it's a paid review. I will normally tell you in the video, this is a paid review. And I would also say this is a sponsored video. So I hope that answers all your questions. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. I'll catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.